Hi, I'm John Hanfin here. We're agricultural contractors here in North Kildare. We predominantly do pit silage and tillage. We also have the baling uh, side of things as well. We, uh, we're running a V6750 now the last two seasons. We run that in line with our Fusion Plus. We'd use this predominantly on all our straw and hay. Bale wise, we do roughly 10 to 12,000 bales. That would be bale silage, hay and straw. Different years, different amounts, but roughly in around that. The reason we went for a belt bale over all bales, it gives us more of a variety. We have the fusion for our bale silage and the belt baler now, we use that predominantly on just straw and hay. And we find that any conditions, the belt baler can take them in. Too dry, it doesn't matter for the belt baler. It's, it'll take shiny straw, or really dry, dusty hay. We inspect it with the single belt so that there's no crop loss. And we're very happy with that now. We've no problems with it. There's no joining, there's no nothing. You've no hassle with any belts breaking or any tension problems on the belts. From a service point of view, we went for the 750 because you get the grease and the oil are standard. And we find that there's only a few handful of grease nipples through each morning. And from one end of the day, 100 bales an hour, you've no problem. And at the end of the day, it's simple enough. We find the machine fierce handy. It's very simple for anyone to be trained in on it. 20 minutes, you'll figure out how to work it. Net wise, we find the V60 very easy to work. It's, it's a simple loading system. It's just one straight net in. There's no bars to go up or over. It's hydraulically driven. It's very easy. And all controls are done from the cab. So density size, net, the amount of net, it's all controlled from the cab. And we find that fierce easy. From output point of view, we'd be hoping to on a good enough crop of straw, you'd be 100 plus bales an hour. On hay, it's just a bit harder just for crop sizes, but easily, without any hassle, 100 bales an hour, without any, any stress on man or machine. The main reason we went for the variable chamber over the fixed chamber was output, you're getting more per hour than a chamber baler. Your density is from the center out, so you're making a more unified bale from the center out. And also net-wise, we're running two and a half rows. You could probably go less on a bale. The one thing we do love about the V6 for baling small rolls of hay is the indicator for the bale, left or right, so that you're not making too much on one side. It'll allow you to weave and bob to find where you're at to make a more unified flat bale. Even though the Fusion would do the majority of our grass bales, we do have the option of using the V6 if we want to on silage. There's a chopper unit in it, full 15 bank of blades. So it's, it's made for silage. It's just, we have our fusion. We use this predominantly though on straw and hay. We find from an output point of view and reliability and backup and service, we just can't look past the V6. We've run it two years now. We ran a 660 before that. It gave us very little trouble. Just the bale count got a bit high and we just, we, we couldn't change from them. Very happy with them. We're running McHale now for 10, 12 years now, and this would be our fifth different McHale machine. And from a reliability and just, they've, they've improved on every machine they've produced. And we're just, from that side, we're very happy with it.